The PGA Tour season ending event wraps up tomorrow at the FedEx Cup playoff finale. There's 10 million bucks on the line, but it's not just about what happens on the course. It's also about what's down in the kitchen. So I caught up at East Lake Golf Club with the executive chef there, Nick Barrington, just to see how he's helping the pros. I am here in the Players Tunnel where players like Rory McIlroy, Bubba Watson, Adam Scott will be walking out to the 18th green. And you may be wondering, all right, they've got to practice their swings and things like that, but they've also got to fuel up. Let's find out how they do it. We're in the kitchen with Chef Barrington. And Chef, no pressure at all, but you are feeding the top <laughs> golfers in the world. This is their fuel to get them through the tournament. The entree. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a filet. Beautiful. And we're going to go ahead and do a pan-seared red snapper. This is a version of a surf and turf. We're going to go ahead and sear the filet to start with. This is the sound we yep. love to hear. Yep. And this one right, on. right there. Right there. That's the perfect sound. You're going to hear. <laughs> you know what surprises me is when you say you have 200 people, 200 of these things that you've got to make up yep. in one day. How in the world do you make sure that every filet is cooked perfectly? What we do is we go ahead and sear them off ahead of time. So we'll sear them off approximately two to three hours ahead of time. And we'll have them staged. We're also introducing, to, along with that, the sauce for this dish. Everything is a red wine reduction. So we actually incorporated in everything a couple of the actual players' red wines. So and everything. Who's wines here? We actually used Arnold Palmer's uh, red cap. We're going to do the vegetables for the dish. And you know, Chef, I just sort of discovered sauteing grape tomatoes and how much flavor. flavor. The vegetables are going to go into a tart shell that what we make. What is that? That is so, is this like a pie crust? That is a savory crust and everything that we use and everything. Instead of going ahead and doing for pies, we do it a savory version. Such a great idea. And then what we do also and everything, which you guys are yeah. going to love this. I'll let you do this one and everything. Fried? These, these are fried yes. and everything. Grit croquettes. Welcome to Georgia. Welcome to the South. So All we're right, let's throw these in the fryer. fryer. Again, they try to keep it and everything lean, but at the exact same time, a lot of protein. We want them to start off the week healthy and full of energy. So again, then, and this will get them off on the right foot. About 90% of the ingredients that we have here are, is, are certified organic for the players. For everything that's healthy, organic, and local. We gotta All finish right. off and everything with little Georgia peach tarts. They're gonna be hand-selected Georgia peaches, individual little tarts served. We have a burned orange sauce and everything on the bottom with the vanilla, a of vanilla beans. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and finish off with a little bit of uh, vanilla ice cream. The players certainly have to indulge. We do too. So join me for a little tasting. This spread is remarkable we're from the to, beef to the tart. But you know what I can't resist and I gotta dig into are these. Come on, join me. There you go. You because the, the goat groceries. cheese is my favorite thing. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers to a great, great tournament and a wonderful chef. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy. <laughs> I mean, no joke. These will definitely be go ahead and, and be a very popular dish for the week to come. I could have like dozens of these. Yeah, that is going to be the hit well, right there. Have, if you do have dozens, I'm going to have to go back <laughs> and cook in the kitchen and cook more. And you're going to have to get me a bigger apron.